I love mornings. I love being in my sacred tent. I love the freshness of the day, the freshness of the newness of a brand new day. So today, I keep hearing that we're to go slow. <sighs> so we're not going to do a full blown practice today. We're gonna to take one piece of the morning practice and we're gonna put it into place. But before we do anything, we're going to wake up our energy <sighs> and sound is how we wake up the vibrations in our body. So normally we'll drum or we'll use a sound bowl, but today, as I've been in my sacred space prepping to do this with you, I keep hearing to chant. So chanting is one of my favorite things because you are the sound bowl, you become the drum. And when you can activate sound inside of you, you always change your vibrations immediately. So we're gonna start off with just a very simple chant. And I'm gonna invite you to do it with me. Now, you don't have to be a singer, because guess what, I'm not a singer. <laughs> I mean, I love to sing, but I am not a singer. So you don't have to be a singer, it's okay. I want you to just be comfortable with your voice. So the syllables that we're gonna be singing are ah, om, I'm, calling in our angels and balancing the feminine and the masculine inside of our bodies. We are all feminine and we are all masculine. And what happens is sometimes we lean more to the masculine and we do, 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 and we run and we get really in our heads and sometimes we're way more feminine and we're slow and we rest and, and we're in the receiving but no action. Both beautiful, but neither are good on their own. We need both. We need to be in the receiving always. We need to be in the rest and the, and the pleasure and the joy and being connected spiritually. But if we don't take action, nothing is going to happen. Nothing happens. So we have to bring in the masculine. We have to be able to take action. We have to be able to do everything that we're being inspired to do. So bringing in the masculine and the feminine together is where the magic happens. So we're going to chant this today, gathering in our angels with awe that calls them in. We're going to then Ah, uh, om, I'm, om and I'm connecting the feminine and the masculine together. So you can do your hands here, thumbs together, pushing against the sternum. That's a great place to bring you into your heart space. All right, so shoulders up and then roll them back, opening up your heart. Notice how often you close our heart. We wanna open up our heart. We wanna be in receiving. <sighs> Ready, let's sing it together. Oh You feel your body start to buzz. Like, whoo, that just woke me up. I don't feel sleepy anymore. <sighs> That's the power of sound in our bodies. This is something you can use all the time. It's always here with you. So take these little nuggets that we do in the morning practice and see where you can sprinkle them in through the day. When you're feeling stressed, when you're feeling overwhelmed, when fear shows up, how can you move it through your body with sound? Now, we always start off with our angels. We're gonna call in our angels. <sighs> so let's drop into our heart, let's get out of our heads. We're gonna call in our angels, the ascended masters who've been assigned to us, those who are here to lead us, to guide us, to help us heal, to help us rise as the humans that we've been called to be in this earth. 
Ah, oh, those who are here in support of our gifts and our passion of our purpose. Oh, these are our, our loved ones. These ones, they love us. They see us and know us better than we see, know, and hear and feel ourselves. We're going to call them in, in and through the divine light to be here with us in the sacred space. And then we're going to invite them to pour light over the pathways of our day. That no matter what happens today, that they will open up pathways for miracles and that they will help us see miracles. They will help us feel miracles and that they will help us receive miracles. Opening up our arms so that when the gift of a miracle is given that we receive it. <sighs> so now, now, today we are prepping for miracles. We are prepping to receive miracles. How fun is that? Imagine if I got you this beautiful gift, which Gifts are my love language. So if you're in my life, then I'm sure you've received a gift from me. So imagine that I got you this beautiful gift. It's exactly what you want. And I go to give it to you, but your arms are tight and they're at your heart. And I'm like, take it. I bought this for you. It's so magical. And you're like, I want it so bad. And I'm like, then take it, Like, take the gift. And if I let go of the gift, it drops to the ground and you can't, actually receive it. <sighs> this is what happens when our angels want to give us miracles. If our heart is tight, if we're not willing to see, if our eyes are closed and we're focusing more on stress and fear and negativity, they're over here in the corner like, oh my gosh, I got you this miracle. Open your damn arms, <laughs> right? Like, let me wake you up. This is where we get to play today. How do we open up our hearts to receive miracles? Because every evening in our evening practice, one of the first things we do is record the miracles. But we can't record miracles if we're closing our eyes to them, if we aren't looking for them. So that is step one today, is opening up our hearts to receive miracles. So I'm gonna walk you through opening up your heart. So today can be the most miraculous day. And so that today becomes day one of a whole new life where every day miracles are showered on you. That is my intention. That is my purpose of what we are doing here today. So I'm going to take you through one of my healing codexes. So a healing codex is just a visualization. The things that I have received when I've gone into prayer asking for uh, a healing or a code or something that's going to change the vibrations in my body and those I work with. This is one of the healing codexes that I received. It's so beautiful. We're going to receive it together. It's only a piece of it. Um, it will be coming out soon, the whole piece. But right now we're just going to visualize the heart. <sighs> I love the heart. This is the place where we play from the heart everything changes. Our relationships change, our business changes, our abundance changes, our love, our happiness, our connection. Everything is better when we're here. So we want to open up your arms. We want you to be like this with your angels, with God. Okay, God, whatever it is that you have for me, like I will receive it. I am not closing the door to miracles. I will receive the miracles. And I know that there are parts inside of you that probably say, I don't deserve miracles. <sighs> Those are heavy parts. I know there are fears that say, what if I can't see miracles? I hear you. And there are other pieces that say, I don't believe in miracles because you have been burned and you have been through so much pain in your life that the idea that a miracle exists is painful. So I hear, see, and acknowledge all of this. And, and they don't have to be in your life anymore. You can create new. Everybody is worthy of miracles, no matter who you are, no matter what you've done, no matter what you haven't done, no matter if uh, you, this is your birthright. Miracles are your birthright. They are here for you. All you get to do is learn how to open up to receive them, okay? And on the other side of pain is joy. So no matter how much pain you've been through, there is joy on the other side of it. 
So today we're going to open up so you can have a miracle today. All right. So when you drop in your heart, I don't want you to just notice your heart. Are there walls around it? Is it bank vaulted? Is it locked? Are there tree roots that have been so gnarled over this heart space that not even wind could push through? Not even like, like not even a blade of grass could get through. This is so locked tight. Now what we're going to use is we're going to use the power of the sun. The warmth of the sun is going to come in. I want you to do three deep breaths, receiving this warmth in. Oh, and it's softening whatever is in the way. Oh, all the illusions, all the beliefs, all the noise in your heart and your mind that says you can't receive, miracles aren't real, you're not worthy, you're going to get your hopes up. All this is just bologna and cheese, and it's just not not true we're releasing it so I want you to breathe in receiving the Sun as you breathe out you're gonna release all those noisy thoughts everything that's created these walls are gonna leave your body out the soles of your feet into the earth we're gonna breathe in the Sun and we're gonna soften 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 and letting everything go <sighs> one more Ah, now I want you to feel the flow and the ebb, that there's actually whatever was there, the gnarled root, uh, the tree roots that were there actually turn into blades of grass. And I want you to see them moving in the wind and the sun is pouring over them. You can smell the freshness of the warm summer grass. And I want you to feel like this is the vibration over your heart. I want you to see right in front of you is God and God has a gift for you. I want you to breathe in. And I want you to say out loud, I open up and receive this gift, God. I open up and receive this gift, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I want you to ask, what is this gift that God has for you? So you're going to say, what is this gift that you have for me, God? Palms up on your knees, opened, opened, opened heart, shoulders back. And I want you to use your gifts of seeing, hearing, and feeling. We're going to bring them right up to the surface and into the divine light so you can hear, see, and feel what God has for you. If you see something and you don't understand it, you see an image, you're going to say, what does this mean, God? And then you're going to listen. If you feel something, then you're going to ask, what does this mean? If you hear something, ask, what does this mean? It's going to be intense, maybe, but intense is my favorite word. So be in the intensity. Be in the intensity of being able to receive a gift right here, right now from God. That God knows you, sees you, hears you, loves you. That at any time you can be in participation with God. Any time you can be in partnership with God. So I want you to take your hands out and receive what you were given. You're going to place it right into your heart. And I want you to just say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I receive this wholeheartedly. I receive this with love. I receive this in gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Deep breaths in. Making a sound into your heart chakra like a vibrational blanket. One more. dear beautiful friend in this space I want to pour this magical light over you and I call it magic because it is like fairy dust it's this beautiful sparkly golden light and we're gonna pour it over you from the top of your heads down to your toes that every cell inside of your body witnesses miracles that even down into your DNA coding <sighs> you will
will remember the frequency of miracles that you will know here and see them they will be at every turn on your path today that when you turn over your shoulder that you will see them behind you as you step forward in front you will see them and as you close your eyes and drop into your heart you will remember the gift you were given this morning and you will see them <sighs> my dear friends so much good is ahead as you walk with God as you walk the path of miracles you become a change maker in this world you bring light you activate light so with that I thank you for being here not only here on this video but thank you for being here Thank you for being on this earth. Thank you for saying yes to the call in your heart. <sighs> Thank you for being you. May your day be blessed with miracles and I will see you tonight.